Yeah, it's okay yes. now. T, if you manage it well, yeah. it gives yields. Uh -huh. leaves and the bird which is plucked and processed. Okay. But when not managed, it becomes a shrub or a tree. Okay. Yes, it can become a shrub or a tree. Uh -huh. Yes, tea has a crop. Mm -hmm. Previously, we used to source our planting material uh -huh. from seeds, we germinate the seeds. Okay. And then later, we get the plants uh -huh. and we plant. Okay. We realized that it was a very elaborate process. Uh -huh. It would take a lot of time and resources. Okay. So through research, okay. we have got our tea research station. Headquarters is in Kericho. There is also a branch in Kangai. Okay. This is where we source information because information is power. Yes. So with small scale KTD managed factories, that is where we source information. It is important to note that through innovation and technology, which we are promoting in agriculture and trade, we have done one. We have moved from seed as a source of our planting material. Okay. Now our planting material is vegetative propagation, where we get patterns. Okay. What is vegetative propagation? You just use part of that plant to generate more plants or to produce more plants. Yeah. Yes, that is vegetative. So vegetation. this is a cutting? Uh, that's a cutting. Okay. This is a whip. Out of the whips, okay. we get cuttings. We get cuttings. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how, will, how are we benefited from this innovation? <laughs> One, these clones you are seeing here, yeah. there are just a few that we have demonstrated on. Mm -hmm. T Research has released more than 45 recommended clones with very good qualities. Okay. One, these clones can endure bad weather. Remember, we are going through climate change. Climate change, yes. As really did as you come and you as a man, you always talk of drought, 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 drought. Animals are dying. Yes. Yes, you, you, have, no, you have lost a lot of uh, livestock. Yeah. That, yeah. Because you are missing grass, pasture, water yes. for them, yeah. even human beings. Yeah. So, tea as a crop requires good, well distributed amount of rainfall, rainfall. Throughout, the year. throughout the year. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, to mitigate against climate change, okay. we have these clones that can tolerate drought. Drought. Okay. With the climate change, yeah. which is now with us, we yeah. must need to get well. Uh -huh. There are emerging issues. Okay. You get uh, pests. Pests, yeah. Because of climate change, they are very unique pests. Even pests. In our country, yeah. The pests is in the top of Bandia, Somali. They become a locust. Locust, locust, yeah. yeah. So those ones are as a result of climate change. Yes. We have got also emerging diseases. Yeah. They are not to be there, attacking our crops. Yeah. In our country, Cypress tree. Cypress tree. Was attacked heavily. Okay. Uh, with a known pest and known disease, so scientists were running up and down. Okay. Because of climate change, we have seen emerging diseases and emerging what? Yeah. Pests. pests. So these clones can endure, can withstand, can tolerate pests and pests diseases. And diseases yeah. Yes. Yeah. And also tolerate the the desert climate. Yeah. 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 Drought. So, so drought. 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 Yeah. That is it. What about the temperature? Uh, the, the temperature is in the tall. Tea does not require harsh, te high temperature. It's uh -huh. cool, cool temperature. Okay. Low. Uh, that okay. is it. And uh, from, yeah, from, from where? Okay. Yeah, I, will, uh, I will come to that. That yeah. is now under ecological requirement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then now, uh -huh. another important thing, we have talked about climate change. Yeah. Which is subjecting us to emerging diseases and pests. And pests. Reduction in yield mm -hmm. because of uh, production has gone down. Uh -huh. But these ones, yeah. you will still get your yields. Oh, good, good. Due to drought, that we go to drought, dry spell, long extended dry spell, we still harvest. 
if you plant this one of these plants. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. Another one. If I grow this, how much will I have? What is the production? Yeah. Yes, farmers, these clones that have been recycled, uh -huh. some of them can give us very good cap quality, and that's what the buyers are yes. in, okay. in for. Yeah. Our factory, some of them are making specialty teas. Uh -huh. What are these specialty teas? You will see a variety of tea, yeah. not only black CTC. We have got yellow tea, we have got black tea, we have got orthodox tea. So ah. this is what we categorize as specialty teas. Specialty teas. So some of these clones yeah. are really good when they come to specialty teas. Yes. Some of them can make good black CTC teas. Mm -hmm. And that is what will make our demand to go high. When okay. the demand is higher yeah. than the supply, somebody who is a producer is very happy, smiling. Yeah. Come up with the income. Is improved. Is improved, yes. yeah, yeah. So very key. Okay. This is the reason why we are emphasizing and we are embracing uh -huh. the innovation in this area. Okay. It has assisted us. We have moved somewhere. Uh -huh. yes. yes. So when we compare the north, considering that we have really benefited yeah. from inno innovation yeah. through. Uh, VP plants, propagated mm. uh, plants, yeah. we are very far from the CD. Okay. Yeah, the okay. Seeds, yeah, you are very which far. Are giving us yeah. no, seedling no. plants. Yeah. Right now we talk of VP plants, not seedling pla plants. Seedling plants. Uh, okay. Yeah, so no, we are going to, to plant the seedlings. It's not the seedlings. Yeah. The VP plants. VP plants, plants yeah. So from there, mm. I think. It's good to recognize what we do in the nursery yeah. because if you are going to plant uh, tea in Somalia, yeah. you will have to establish your own nursery to look for cuttings, yeah. which will be expensive, but not expensive as such. Because I can remember yeah. the people from Rwanda when they planted uh, uh, some of the teas, they yeah. were getting cuttings from Kericho here, okay. research, okay. and they were using what. Just uh, certified cuttings. Uh, certified cuttings. Okay. Like now you are using for, uh, you are looking for certified cutting. maize to May. plant. Okay. So here you will be looking for certified what? Uh, cuttings. Cuttings. And you will be getting them at tea research. Okay. Kericho, Kericho. or or Kangaita. Because okay. Kangaita might be near oh. to Somali. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, Rwanda, mm -hmm. they came to Kenya. Mm -hmm. And they, they bought a lot of it, three million. They were taking through air. Okay. Uh, so you send it without soil. Uh, 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 no, you no. send without soil because you just pack them. Oh, the, this type oh of that the one. Cuttings, you then just we... pack them in the poly bags. Poly bags. Uh, okay. So reaching. Yeah. Uh, when you will be ready for that, yeah. you will need to consult the right office so that you are guided. Okay. This is just for information pa purposes, pa purposes uh, yeah. creating good. awareness. Yeah, awareness. Uh, very so good. this That's information very will assist you with yeah. awareness. awareness. But now going well, back now into at the, home, yeah. serious business, yeah. you need to consult further and further. be guided by yeah. professionals. professionals. So here is yeah. a nursery, mm -hmm. it's very important, okay. the success of field planting depends on, on the, the, the source of the material so, so, yeah. and then now the management in the nursery. Okay. Yes, so Good. here what is important, we used to use uh, this non-biodegradable material mm -hmm. we are polluting the environment so much. So man, yeah. when NEMA came and enforced some laws yeah. on the biodegradable material, yeah. we went in and we are using it. So this is what this we are using now for planting okay. tubes. We fill the soils mm -hmm. and then we plant our cuttings. And uh, as, it's also as, keeping as the, already demonstrated the here. moist. It's also keeping the moist. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm coming to that. Yeah. This uh, biodegradable material, in a kama mchanga sasa, when you water, yeah. it retains the, mo the moisture. The moisture. Okay. So unapata kama the germination. I mean, the rooting will be fast. Okay. Uh, establishment of the upper growth will also be okay. fast enough. Okay. Retention of your water in the soil mm -hmm. to continue maintaining your plants in the nursery will be okay. okay. Will be okay. Will be okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in the nursery, that's basically what is important. Mm -hmm. The process of cutting the cuttings, nini, nini, that is a lot of details. Yeah, a lot of yeah, details. You will get le later, later yeah. so that your mind is not congested for no reason. Yeah. Yes. So we have got the high shade and the low shade. Okay. We encourage high shade 
with uh, with, uh, with our farmers who can manage because with high shed you will get a lot of material. Okay. So it is economical. Use the low shed. Okay. Low shed is good with farmers who are maybe having two or three units. Mm -hmm. But high shed is mm -hmm. good with farmers who are having more units. More units. Uh, okay. Then it is also uh, for operation purposes. It is easy to manage because there is that working space. Yes. The working space is okay. Okay. Yes, it is spacious. That is okay. it. So yeah. it is easy to manage. Manage. Maturity of the plants in the nursery, low shade plants mature faster than the high shade. Okay. So that is the advantage of low shade mm -hmm. to high shade. Oh. So it is more advantageous. Low shade. Uh, low shade yeah. because the plants mature faster now because okay. of the temperature. Yeah. So now you are supposed to in a pivot direct, <laughs> and then the same heat is transferred to the plant. To the plant. Yeah, to enhance faster growth. growth. Fast, faster growth. While high shade now not really for the for the sun rays to yeah. penetrate. Yeah. It cause effect up for chinikwa mimea. It takes time. It takes time. Yeah. So, yeah. so that is what yeah. we are basically. Mm -hmm. This one requires less material than this. Than this. So for a small farmer, maybe where you are going to start, yeah. they, those farmers are not well established. Yeah. They might need more, more of like this, this than one. this. Than this one. Is it clear? Yes. yes. What so, percentage should they use for the net shed? The net shed. Net shed. This is a UV. Six percent. Sixty. Okay. Six percent. Three ten. Six percent. So now okay. it allows sixty. Then 50 50 percent. No, oh. uh, 50 okay. 60. Okay, percent. okay, you do not allow uh -huh. so it is balanced. Okay, uh, in uh -huh. itself, it's balanced. Okay, you don't struggle at all. So, here you make sure that you manage the diseases. Uh -huh. This is just to manage the disease. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the first side to manage ten a pair. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh -huh. uh, the nursery where you are citing the nursery, I yeah. don't know. The hills and the valleys in, in your area. Okay. But the nursery must be you avoid areas with strong winds. Okay. So that area maybe you are on the leeward side or the windward side. Yeah. So that you will check where to place. Mm -hmm. Don't expose your nursery to a lot of wind because nursery mm -hmm. uh, requires a lot of moisture. Moisture. For plants to grow. Very yeah. Fast. Yeah. So when you deny the the plants the moisture, yeah. the plants will dry up in the nursery and finally you will have very low percent. For low uh, percentage. Survival percentage. Yes. So you also avoid areas uh, you secure your plants okay. from theft. Okay. But they don't have so yes. some of them will be stealing. Yeah. So you must secure, you must yeah. safeguard it. Near source of water, necessary requires a lot of water. Yes. Every now and then you will be watering. Yeah. So must be near water source. Yeah. Avoid area under shade. No too much shading effect. Yeah. When uh, there's a lot of shade we end up getting fungal infections. Fungal infections. Uh, yes, because of the humid what? Humidity. Uh, yeah, because uh, of the humid, humid conditions. Conditions. Yes. So you avoid that humid condition. Mm -hmm. Avoid low lying areas. Low lying areas like a valley. A valley. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, so during the rain, you know, uh, it can be washed. Then up. it can be also be affected by frost. Uh -huh. Come, uh, that place is prone to frostbite. Yeah. Then now avoid low lying areas due to risk of flooding. Also, mm -hmm. the place can be flooded. Some parts of uh, your area yeah. in a in a poor affected the flood. Flood. Flat. Yeah. Cindy. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that is it. From there, about uh, nursery management yeah. is uh, very tedious, very involving. There are a lot of small notes yeah. that requires a lot of training. Yeah. Now, after eight months now, plants can be ready for planting with good management. Yeah. But if not well managed, it, it, it can even go up to one year. But oh, Ayatosha, maybe the plants have not established good roots. Okay. Plants don't have, a, they are not strong. Yeah. The shoots are not there. Yeah, okay. You see now. Yeah. So that's the reason why all good practices must yeah. be put in, play, yeah. in place for you yeah. to yeah. get your plants ready after eight months. Yeah. That one will reduce on your cost. Mm -hmm. But if you go long, Days, yeah. you of course will be very high, and yeah. then you end up despairing. Yeah. 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 He, he venture is, is very expensive. Me, I don't want it. Yeah. Then people despair. Like those people, yeah. they can despair very fast because they have never seen tea, okay. so they will feel real bothered. Because yeah. you are bothered, us, 
you have brought us something that uh, that is making us to incur our our money. You use our money and we don't get yeah. quick return. Yeah. Farmers are always eager for quick return. Yeah. return. Okay. So when you don't plan well, mm -hmm. it might backfire. They will curse you. They will not okay. agree to continue with what you want to continue. Okay. The same way we check on where to place our nursery. Yeah. When the tea is ready for planting. Yeah. Like uh, this one here yeah. is the same tea that we are put here. Yeah. When tea is ready for planting, yeah. after eight months you can have well developed roots. This yeah. is a biodegradable yeah. material yeah. that we have used. Okay. So even if you just plant it without yeah. removing, yeah. it will degrade, okay. it will decompose. Okay. So it will not hinder the root development. Okay. It will just die in the soil, decompose, oh, okay. and then the roots continue penetrating, yeah. and then the, the, the upper growth also continue, continue. continues. Okay. So now, select the, 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 the field where you are going to plant it. Okay. One, don't plant tea on a maram site. Okay. Mahale kuna maram. Avoid why? Because of the penetration of the root. The root development will not be fast enough to be hindered. Okay. Aside, you will not get your tea ready for planting. Yeah. You will not get your tea ready for planting in time. Okay. Yes. The root will be hindered. The root growth will be hindered. When you plant tea mm. in a maram area. Area. Or in stony area. Stony area. So avoid stony or maram area. Mm -hmm. Two, boma sites or hard sites. Kama kuna mahale ulikuwa unachunga ngombe, ulikuwa ngombe ina longa hapa. Ama samani watu walikuwa wameishi hard sites. Okay. Don't go direct and plant it. Why? The pH soil. Tea is very sensitive to the pH soil. Okay. The soils that can make tea dry very very fast and okay. very well. Yeah. 4.5. 4.5. 4.5. Okay. Maximum. Optimum. 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 4. Okay. 5. Okay. If it goes up to 5, yeah. That is now on the marginalized areas. Okay. But we expect 4.5. Mm. Optimum pH. pH. If you decide it to 5.6, mm. it can do but it cannot do so much well. Okay. And with the harsh weather condition now, climate change, mm -hmm. we don't advise to have that big range. Big range. So we confine ourselves yeah. for your safety and we continue sustaining your product production. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Boma site always they have a period of 6.5, 6.8, you see now? Yeah. That yeah. is how side the tea grows. Yes. Yes, so we don't have that. The period is very high. Mm -hmm. Then now, Mahale umetoma maka. Chakon size, mahale maka umetoma. Okay. You don't encourage tea growing. Okay. You avoid. Another thing is swampy areas. We require proper root development. Chai na maja ingeni kwa swampy area. Okay. Because it requires the roots for roots to develop well requires aeration. And inside the swampy area, you will get little aeration. So we avoid that. That is a major. Okay. Yeah. And that is the reason why we need the nursery. You don't put it where they are subject to, okay. where areas which are prone to floods. Floods. Yeah. So yeah. for planting, mature material, now you plant in the field. Mm -hmm. Avoid swampy areas, areas for proper root development. Okay. Now, for example, you don't have land. You, don't, you only have a place where you. There were trees which were planted before, mm -hmm. indigenous trees, blue gum. Okay. Those trees, their roots will be harboring some diseases. Okay. So in order for you to do away with that, mm -hmm. you start by ring banking. What is ring banking? The removal of the cells, mycelium cells, from the plant. So Those trees. Yeah. yeah, the trees, yeah, the big trees now. Uh -huh. Before you go with your power, so you cut it. Do what is called ring backing. What okay. is ring backing? Yeah, removal of the cells, which are the cells which are okay uh, functioning in terms of transportation of food. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, transportation so of food. Yeah. food that is nutrients and, 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 and water. water. Yeah, yeah. From the branches. Water, the leaves make it mm -hmm. food, carbohydrate. 
So these ones are transported downwards. Sindio? Yeah. From the soil, what do we have? Tea, the trees will be what? Transporting food, food. and water. water. So when you want to move that, you yeah. have the ob obstruction so that the plants are not transporting uh, the, the carbohydrates yeah. from, the, from the branches downwards. Yeah. Neither the roots transporting food that is now nutrients and water upward. upward. As a, you do what? Bring back it. You remove these mycelium cells which are what? Yeah. meant for transportation of nutrients and water. water. <laughs> so what are you doing to this tree? Yeah. You want to kill it. To kill it. Okay, you want to kill it. Yeah, okay. you want to bring back in this and to kill this tree. Okay. Una uwa pole po? Pole pole, yeah. If it's a kufa, no transportation of food and nutrients. Mushoe hii, utakuja ukate. Meaning, even the bacteria which is inside the roots, will have that. Will have that, yeah. So, sasa asume uwa. Tayari. Yes. So, the tree is no longer alive, even the diseases. Even the agents for those yeah. diseases are yeah. no longer there. Are there. No longer there. Yeah. So that's a year on the Manisa cut. Mm -hmm. Then you can cut down the tree, the do trees. away with the trees, remove the dead debris inside the soil, so the soil, the roots, mm -hmm. and, and all that. Then you can burn. Okay. It's allowed you can burn. Uh -huh. As you clear your feet. Then you harrow properly. Yes. That's what you call proper land preparation before planting. Okay. It's not like maragwe, you plant with weeds. Okay. It's like a mess that you plant with weed. Okay. Then later you say, I will weed. No. Uh -huh. Water land preparation when it comes to tea. Okay. For you to get your crop uh -huh. surviving. So now, uh -huh. uh, later you come and you plant. What we have in, uh, encouraged here as our innovation, Samani, Okulima, Olipona, Tumia, Jembe, Okay. Pangas, Tomato, and so on. Okay, so this machine. is very labor intensive, okay. time consuming. Okay. To avoid that, mm -hmm. we have embraced innovation mm -hmm. by yeah. using machine, this machine. for holding. Okay. It's fast enough, okay. it's not time consuming. Okay. It's cost effective. Okay. Because you find one egg, somebody can do it maybe one week. One week. And they are not finished if yeah. it's one person. One so you person. See, use a lot of Mondays yeah. for you to, to do an acre. An acre, yeah. Here you will use maybe two Mondays now we may list her acre. Okay. So it is cost effective. Okay. okay. And less time con consuming. Consuming. Yes. Okay. So it's very key. And then Gee. now when you plant yeah. This one, the depth is 18 inches, okay. width is 9 inches. Okay. You mix this soil with the DAP, okay. top soil is rich in humus. Yeah. Okay. So you create an environment that will make the plants to develop the root very fast. Okay. Very fast. Good. You fill it inside the soil, the okay. hole fast. Then now, you fill the hole. Yeah. shimo. Okay. Using the subsoil. Then now you are done, you water water after planting you must walk water. water if you see the weather is not good immediately you are planted yeah you find the this other ash weather you mulch this is a form of mulching you can mulch using grass if you have grass you mulch for your plants to retain what moisture moisture yeah. Yeah. for better growth okay so now we are done okay after planting feel the planting okay. what do you do you bring this tea into berry. Tarisha hii chai. Nyanza kuleta masa. Masao. How do we prepare tea? Okay. You start pruning. Six inch. You prune. Six inch you prune. Why do you prune six inch? You want to start the tea to form the table. The kind of tea. Because tea is a crop which is not growing like blue gum. Yes. It must form a tea. A table. Okay. So this is why we start pruning at that low inch. For proper table formation and for proper blacking height. Okay. You start to you train it in the way you okay. want. Okay. So now this is where we have yeah. six inch. Then you move to eleven inch. So now okay. even here the branches are, are developing. Yes. You see the branches are developing right from the ground. Then after the eleven inch, we prune sixteen inch. 
we now have more branches. Sunaona. From here to here, the 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 figure is changing. The formation is changing. The frame is changing. Yeah. Because of the pruning in stages. In stages. The, all this information is research based. Okay. Uh, yes, research has been done and that yeah. is the practice. So this is what is called yeah. formative pruning. Yes. Then now, yeah. we come to another one which we are not adhering now. Don't even try it in Somali because yeah. that is where the weather is very harsh. Very harsh. Bringing young tea to bearing. We use round pegs or parallel fetus okay. or individual pegs. Okay. So this one, it can break. Oh. So when it breaks, you lo you use that, yeah. you, you lose it. You lose it. You, you, it breaks when it is young like this. Okay. The chances of losing tea yeah. is very high. So yeah. this one has been banned. We okay. don't want it because okay. of climate change now, yeah. with harsh weather and yeah. certain weather, yeah. we don't practice ring method. Ring method. Yeah. So, so don't even take it home. Yeah. Because where you are coming is even worse. Yeah. So now this is the parallel fetus. Okay. Then you are mushy. This is what is called free growth. Free growth might be very user friendly to compare to where you are coming from. Okay. You prune six inches at six inches leave it grow for 18 months okay. after 18 months you come and prune at 20 and then now you leave it grow okay. advantage gun people the advantage is that what you may the roots develop we said also the upper part also develop. Develops. It's called frame formation, canopy, formation proper canopy, uh -huh. and a wide canopy. And then the strength, tea will be very strong okay. because it has got to reserve carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Yeah, reserve. Okay. Uh -huh. So the plant is very healthy and strong. You cannot compare it with this. Okay. Okay. In your form, it can be very strong and they just edit so that's our cutting of the hands of the tuna mm -hmm. at the 20 you will be you will be plucking at uh, 20 you you take it back to 20 on a watch it grow five inch uh -huh. above on a cut a tenner in a ruby mm -hmm. so this one the, the, the success of this one mm -hmm. is really higher than the success that we achieved here. Okay. And for marginalized areas, this is a better one. It's a that, better practice. That one. Free growth. Free growth. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So that is a, a method bringing young team to the area. Okay. It's the best okay. compared to the group. Mm -hmm. So it's the best. Yes. So now, after that, you are prepared your team for years. Okay. It has started the okay. now plucking. What are the application? Each is just in the one. You need to fertilize. To apply fertilization. You need to apply fertilizer. Fertilizer. Yeah. Yes. Mbati, this is a farmer who would like to go and try it in some parts of Somali. So he's taking notes. I end up again about what is what I've already told you is for awareness. The final details can come late, later. So yeah. you just to buy it. And the layer Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Prati in our language. Yeah. The harvesting of tea. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We when we are we are uh, fracking. Yeah. We should use some more fracking equipment. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. For example, we have. This is a well-aerated fracking uh, basket. Okay. We have the apron for personal protection. Okay. We, we have the fracking cap. Okay. And we use the fracking stick. Okay. Yes. Okay. This fracking stick will assist you to maintain the table when you are fracking the table. Yeah. We have some more, uh, we, we have three types of tracking. Okay. We have bright tracking, we have post tracking, okay. and we have hard tracking. Okay. But in KDDA, yeah. since leaf quality is our, is our strength, yeah. 
we encourage our farmers to practice right tracking. Okay. Right tracking yeah. is normally done at the at a frequency of seven to eight days. Okay. Yes. Yeah. At a frequency of seven to eight uh -huh. days. Yeah. Right tracking. Mm -hmm. What are we expected of okay. as KDPA? Mm -hmm. What type of relief are we expecting our farmers to supply us with? Okay. We require four types of relief. One, a soft patch. A soft patch is a wood leaf. Two leaves and a bud. One leaf and a bud. And a bud. And a bud. The four types are the, uh, the wood types of, of the leaf that we want. Which is normally achieved after seven or eight days. We use hand bracket, but due to now the advancing technologies, we have come up with machines. We started with the shears. The shears, as you can see, yeah. it will assist you to do the oh, bracket. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Then we have the hand battery bracket machine. There, yes. you can see there. We have the hand cracking and the cracking machine. Okay. We have another one here. We have one hand. Okay. The hand machine. This one. But mostly this one is used in our international piece. Yes. Now we are advancing from hand cracking. Yes, now we have come to machine practice. Machine practice. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the essence of this is to yeah. reduce the cost of production. Okay. Which is becoming a menace yeah. to many of our growers. Yeah. And they are now being discouraged. Others are even now reporting to the family. So we have come to this. Okay. Machines. Yeah. Yes. So that is one of my bracket. Yeah. So now we move to the other side. Mm -hmm. This is now pruning. Mm -hmm. Pruning is an aspartic practice done in tea after every three years. Okay. After every three, three years. years. While pruning, we have some equipment which we have this is the pruning knife. Okay. The pruning knife. Okay. But now due to the coming up the technologies, yeah. we have introduced the pruning machine. As you can see, this is the pruning machine. Because it is more efficient, <laughs> it is faster. It is less costly. Okay. It goes for how much? Eh? Ah. How much does it cost? This one. Yeah. The cost of uh, eh? of this machine. This yes. machine. The cost. Yeah. It depends with the the quality and ah. even the company. Mm -hmm. uh, but average is around sixty thousand. Sixty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it use? Petrol or diesel? Mostly petrol. Petrol? Yeah. yeah. So, this is now what we are encouraging our farmers to use yeah. because it is faster mm -hmm. and it is less cost. Yeah. Yes. I agree with you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, because uh, labor is. You do the space pruning. Yeah. This is known as formative pruning. Okay. Formative pruning. Okay. okay. That is After every three years. years. Three years, yeah. three to four years, yeah. depending on the management. Okay. Yeah. In a well-managed farm, it may take four years. Mm. But okay. in an averagely managed farm, it yeah. take three years yeah. minimum. Yes. Okay. But have but those machines started being used? Yes. Oh, people are using them now? We are using them now. Ah. Yes. But I've found a lot of politics around those machines. Yes. Uh, like, uh, is it in the Rift Valley where people are using? Uh, no, uh. that is politics. Uh. And you know, in business now, mm. there is no way you can uh, 